All right, guys, I'm getting ready for another Casita adventure. And uh, so once again, I'm going through my pre-check, uh, check my tire pressures. Uh, this time I'm running them at 55 PSI. I do have a tire pressure monitoring system. And I checked them this morning. They're both cold tires and they're both set at 55 PSI. Some people run these up to 60, uh, but I've got it at 55. I've checked my Forerunner, which is my tow vehicle, and I'm running all the tires at 38 PSI. I did jump on there this morning and go ahead and uh, re-grease that axle, and I did a video on that. I did a couple of videos on this Anderson. They did send me a replacement piece. I haven't swapped it yet, but I'm going to you can see my Anderson now is attached and I've uh, got my safety chains on. Now that plug uh, modification for a Toyota, I'll show you that, saves me from crawling up on the vehicle now. If you've got a Toyota, you know what I'm talking about. Your plug is way under here and if you watch that earlier video I did, there was a, that's a mod so that it sits out here now. This other is my camera I did a video on, of course my electric jack. I have the railing for the Stromberg Carlson, but I've removed it at this point. I'm not carrying it. Uh, I do have a Honda generator over here, and I find that I just throw it in the truck, take it with me. When I need it, uh, I can use it to make it easier I have a pigtail, you can see my pigtail, so I could actually run that, plug, plug my shore power into that pigtail, and then here's the end connector I could plug into my Honda on the front end here and run that Honda generator. And of course, you know, you check your brake lights and everything to make sure they're working, and you have a good solid connection. You know, so you got your cover in tow. I'm sure all of you bought them. I did, you know, install this hitch. I did fabricate that myself and install it. Did you a video on the, uh, basically on the shock kit. I do have that installed on this one. And uh, I'll leave it up to you whether you think it's worth having. This is an 18 Casita. Go in for a minute. You can see we've made a permanent bed, otherwise, we're still dealing with them old blondes. And I did several videos where I had to replace that entire power unit. I did have to fix my fantastic fan, get rid of that crazy acting behavior. I eliminated that, and then I got my fridge uh, repaired too. But this is our 18 Casita. And uh, we just keep the bed in made up mode, I guess. And you can see we're going to carry along our little Jackery. Uh, I highly recommend that. Amazon had that on sale again on Prime Day. I've had this thing now a couple of years. Any CPAP users, that's the way to go. You know, believe it or not, we never use the uh, toilet uh, and so forth. So it's been conditioned. I've not really used the uh, the drains and whatever and so forth over the years. Got a microwave in this cabinet. But hey, you know, this is the way to go. We've had all the larger campers and, you know, if you spend all your time in the camper, no, I'm not sure it's really camping. We usually get there and get out and go do something. So, all right, we got our little step cover as you can see. And then in the back of my Toyota, you know, I've learned the hard way. You know, I just bought me this old, this was on sale actually a couple weeks ago. I bought two sets of these, 130 piece tool kit. Uh, I carry that along with me. Guys, I can't recommend this more than, I mean, this is Hughes Auto Formers, really a nice setup, really works well. And uh, when I plug this in, I test it before I ever connect my coach. It'll tell me if everything's working. Of course, I carry these wrenches for my 
Anderson booster cables. I bought this several years ago. If you don't know what it is, I recommend something like this. I mean, it's basically a portable air compressor, air source. You can hook this up to your truck battery and, you know, if you need to air your tires up on the road or something, you're good to go. Uh, this was also on some promotion when I purchased it. Then I have some tie downs in there. Of course, the wife has the chairs in here. We have some walking sticks. The blocks when I let my trailer down. Uh, otherwise, we're headed out here shortly. Oh, we've got these. Everybody, I'm sure, has these wheel chocks too. So, but we're going to be headed out and joining you out there. So, uh, hopefully, everybody is enjoying the weather. Uh, can't believe it we had a cold snap but this weekend's going to be wonderful so we'll go enjoy it now so there's your broad view picture this is the 18 casita and uh so we're gonna go have some fun hope you enjoy and uh see you next time